stock market capitalism, a wild ride for the meme stocks. Now, most of them are falling today, but this was after a really big two-day rally. It ignited the return of social media account Roaring Kitty. He's posting on X for the first time in about three years. One Redditor who made millions investing during the pandemic says meme stocks never left. Joining us now, after our CEO and founder, Kevin Hsu. What do you mean they never left? Because the stock price in the last two or three days might make us think they were gone and they're coming back. Kate hey Taylor, thanks for having me back. It's been such an exciting time to be a retail investor. <laughs> I mean, the narrative right now is that meme stocks are back, but in my opinion, the communities like Wall Street Bets and new apps like After Hour, we have millions of people tuning in every day, checking out what's going on in the markets, looking for alpha and learning from each other. Right? I think this is like the power of the internet, that we could finally share ideas openly and try to make the best trades. Mm. Mm. Kevin, I, I totally agree with the, the power of the internet. I mean, these communities are a force, but the big X factor in the last run up was you had so much government cash out there. I mean, we, we were all getting checks for one reason or another. People were at home, they were spending those checks, interest rates were way down. That's a very different financial backdrop that provided a lot more juice for the last run up than this one, don't you think? Totally, totally. And uh, it's fascinating, right? When you look at the numbers, I mean, Rob, uh, uh, GameStop had, I think, $200 million uh, volume in the last few days. And can you re is that really coming from retail, right? Did, mm. uh, just because someone started tweeting some funny videos online again, that ignited you know, this army of retail to start investing their $20 or whatever savings they have left into GameStop. You know, it's actually kind of fascinating how much we don't really know what's going on in the markets. Mm. Mm. And that is fascinating. And what's interesting to me, Taylor highlighted AMC today, that debt for equity swap. It just underscores how much debt the company has. Actually, it's selling off today as well on that news. And so you sit back and say to yourself, when you look at the core stories of a lot of these companies, there is nothing there. This was all momentum, um, so much so that movies were made about it. You know, if I'm an, a serious investor, while I realize you can make money on momentum, it's also incredibly risky at a time right now, Kevin, where, you know, people can't afford to take as much risk. Yeah, um, you know, it speaks a lot to a couple of trends that I'm noticing, right? Like the middle class is getting squeezed. We talk a lot about this increasing wealth inequality. And yet I see a huge increase in options trading, in crypto huh. trading, in sports betting and gambling, right? You have to kind of reflect on like what's going on in society, what's going on in America that's kind of causing people who are in, could be in pretty dire situations to turn to these assets, to these, you know, uh, hobbies, let's say. Uh, I think there is a strong desire to make money and people are turning to these alternative routes. Let's talk about making money. We had you on when Reddit IPO'd. You have since, I believe, sold those shares. Why and what are you buying? Yeah, yeah. I was lucky enough to get in on the red IPO at 30 something dollars. You know, within a week, it uh, popped to $66. And I was like, that's a nice 2x. So I sold. Huh. Uh, my next trade didn't do so well. I was in the ALCC Oclo SPAC. Uh, and currently, I'm kind of looking for my next play. You know, hmm. I'm excited by some of these. Um, uh, Reddit had great earnings recently, so I might get back in there. Robinhood is also going to be one to really benefit from this uh, meme stock mania again. So these are two stocks I'm keeping my eye out, eye out on. Well, we really appreciate it, Kevin. We like that you're sharing the wins is also some of the losses. Just to remind our viewers that if you are in this, you need to be prepared for both sides of the coin, right? right? So thank you so much, Kevin. 100%. Thank you.